I'm Jeff Schinkel. I'm Todd Morrow. I'm Michelle Waters. And we're Resolve Studios. Resolve Studios, in its simplest form, is a place where people from different disciplines can make things. Back in 2009, we started to meet here. And the meetings then got closer and closer, and then more frequent. And more frequent, and we started laying the dream for Resolve Studios back in 2009. And it's really grown into something great just from all that. We like to bring different people in to help with our artwork and, uh, and collaborate and make better stuff, whether it's sculptures or paintings or photo transfer, um, pencil portraiture, whatever it is. If there's somebody that wants to collaborate, we, we enjoy that. So that, that's what Resolve Studios is about, bringing people together and, and making better art than, than we make individually. We each do have different disciplines. Sometimes they overlap a little. Um, my focus seems to be in photography, but it's kind of blending into other mediums such as painting and sewing um, and collaging which plays really well into mixed media work mm -hmm. and I think there's this overlapping tendency to look for what we hold in common and find what photography has in common with collaging and how collaging bridges the gap to mixed media mm -hmm. and then from mixed media you you can very naturally flow into sculptural work and mesh the similarities together and not look at the differences but what what what's a like about her work what's a like about his work and how can we combine those two either together in a show or together in a piece of art and it just it makes for a richer experience from the give and take of working with each other and others and trying to meld all that into one piece. Uh, it's, it's a lot more of a lot more of an experience than just locking yourself away in your studio alone and turning something out. And that's what I love. <laughs> it's I that it's not. think it's a lot like sitting around the kitchen table in a family, I get to honor mm -hmm. someone else by sitting at the kitchen table and talking through what Michelle's obligations are outside of what goes on under this roof. I get to help give that to her. I help get to give to my wife an opportunity to share her photography even though circumstances in life don't allow her to be here day in and day out the way Todd and I can be here more in a day in day out process. It's not that I have to do that for Michelle mm -hmm. or for Todd. I want to see, I want to do it so that I can see what happens when we're together. We tend to start with I can do this. This is what I can do. I could do that. Right. I haven't gotten to experience that much in my life. Right. So when you find it and get to experience it like we're seeing happen really frequently, it seems to be the norm. It's not an exception. It's not an exception here. Right. And that it's unique and rare and, it feels and becoming good. common. And that's <laughs> and it feels good. And that's kind of an interesting <laughs> contradiction of sorts. It's not a code, but it's a common thread. It's something that we inherently feel. Mm -hmm. And so when we see that in each other, we're like, ooh. Yeah. Let's let's keep that. Yeah.